All right, we just got done finding all the angles in our kite. Now, what we're gonna do, it says now given OP is 10, all right, so OP, that's this part here is 10, and LP is three, LP is three, this part of that diagonal. It says find all missing diagonals, sides, and the perimeter of this kite, all right? So let's see if we can handle that. Um, okay, first things first, I'm seeing right off the bat that if this is three, right? Again, that cuts in a kite, this diagonal is cut perfectly, the, the short diagonal. Well, not necessarily always the short one, but um, the one that is being bisected. So this is gonna be three, and this is gonna be three. The other thing I'm seeing is these top ones are 45, 45, 90 right triangles. If you remember back to um, our unit on special right triangles, if this is a 45, 45, 90, and this is three for the one leg, the other leg also have to be three. Okay, and that's true over here as well, three and three. And then here's even more with that, if you also remember the hypotenuse, right, across from our right angle, the hypotenuse of those 45, 45, 90s is gonna be that measure times the square root of two. In this case, three square roots of two. And that means also over here, three square roots of two. Okay, you can see the math works out since they're both 45, 45, 90s, but also in a kite, we know that this side has to be congruent to that side, the two consecutive sides. These are also consecutive sides, they're gonna be the same, so all I have to do is find one of those. It looks like maybe I can use the Pythagorean theorem with three and 10 as my A and my B to find my C value. All right, so let's try it. If we go A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where A is three squared plus B is 10 squared equals the C squared, well that's nine, plus 100 equals c squared. This is 109 equals c squared. So if I take the square root of both sides, the square root of 109 um, gives me c. Let's see, let's maybe get these into decimals so we can get a perimeter. Got my calculator here. And if I do that, I need the square root of 109 which happens to be 10.4. I'm gonna round these to nearest tenths. So 10.4 right here, replace C with 10.4. The other side is also gonna be 10.4 since consecutive sides in a kite are, uh, are congruent. All right, 10.4, 10.4, and then up here, three times the square root of two, three square roots of two simplifies to be 4.2. Let's go 4.2. And 4.2. Okay, so we have the, the diagonals, we have the sides, now the perimeter 10.4, 10.4 is 20.8, 20.8 um, plus, what is it, 8.4, 20.8 plus 8.4. If I add all those up, it's 29.2. So our perimeter, we can say, equals 29.2, whatever. Um, Whatever label you give us, it'd be centimeters, feet, they didn't really specify in this question.